So today I'm going to show you guys how to transform from Mom! this to Mom! Okay, first things first. I'll eat your brain. No, but first things first, I'm going to put on some vitamin C serum and rub it all around my Arshar lips. Um, the next thing, I'm going to moisturize my face so it stays juicy all throughout the day. You know, we don't want to be crusty. Um, then I follow up that moisturizer with the Versali Blur Primer. And now I'm going to take the Tatcha Primer and put it over the Versali Primer. And then I'm going to tap, 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 tap in. And keep on tapping into my big old pores. So now I'm going to spray some Scandinavian Makeup Prep Primer. Yes, I do use three primers because we are not out here trying to shine like a disco ball and compete with the sun. Now I'm just following my natural brow shape. I would say I go for the natural look, but the reality is I have no skills to do the Instagram baddie brow that my heart truly desires. Not twins, but cousins. It will do. Here I am covering up my hyperpigmentation with a concealer that is close to my skin tone. Now, I am pat pat patting it in for my life. Now that my skin is somewhat even, I'm going to use the Maybelline Smooth and Dewy Foundation in Coconut. I like to spray my brush with the Scandinavian Finishing Spray to make sure the makeup moves around evenly and settles into the skin real nicely. Uh, it really helps to build a nice medium to coverage look without the cakiness. Now that I'm looking like a delicious golden luxury brownie, I'm going to add a little glaze with my LA Girl Pro Conceal and highlight all the focal points on my face. I like to use the same brush I use for my foundation because it helps blend the concealer a lot better. the eyes I use the Maybelline CoverGirl bronzer for the transition shade and then the Coastal Sin Stark Brown for the crease to deepen my eyes. I am trying to trap you with the depth of my eyes, all right? I'm definitely feeling myself. Feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. Now for my lids, shiny shiny with Color Pops Lala eyeshadow and just blend it out with my fingers. Now that the eye makeup is done, I sweep all the powder away like a swifter duster. What? Now I'm adding the final steps to my glazed brownie transformation by adding highlights to my nose and my eyes. I am trying to blind you in the room. Shine bright like a diamond. Can I see that? Oh. Now with eyeliner, I'm going to follow my eye shape and bring the wing out to elegant, elegant, uh, elegant, elongate, elongate the lash line. Now using some random mascara, I'm going to add a little, little bit, not too much because I'm going to put on some falsies later, um, but this is what it looks like without the falsies. 
Princess Island Eye Mascara. And now here I am trying to figure out which lash to go with. This one is very fluffy. I feel like it would just overpower the look. So I ended up going with a more neutral lash. Uh, which I'm applying now called flirty I don't know the brand but I found them for like five dollars and five and below um, and it's really small well the brand the band is really small and the lash is really barely noticeable now I'm using Anastasia lipstick I'm not sure of the name I'm truly up doo doo creek when I run out of that lipstick uh, but now the makeup is truly done and the wig is the final accessory. And we have arrived. She has arrived. Okay, so this is the final look. I don't think it's not bad at all. I actually like it with this hair. And I think it's a good thing I didn't get the I didn't choose the bigger lashes because then I they probably would have like overpowered the bangs. I just wish the bangs would, you know, banging, okay? Just, you know. But yeah, I like it. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I will see you guys next time.